So I want to do a review based on HDTV antennas. And probably about a year ago, I would say, I actually cut the cord completely. Uh, we no longer have Time Warner cable or whatever cable provider you might have. We got this. This is the indoor slash outdoor HDTV antenna. Now, I originally had a cheaper one. This is the old TV over here. I just put this over here for now. This is the type that you see on TV, and I think I bought it for 10 bucks at some store a long time ago. And it worked okay, and it wasn't too bad. Um, but it only picked up about 20 mile radius. Now, I live in between, I actually live in Rochester, but I am from Buffalo. So I wanted to be able to get as many channels as I could for free, in which I would also get you know, a media streaming box for Netflix and Hulu and so forth. So I ended up upgrading to this. This has got a 60 mile range. Um, and what I ended up doing is, let me just show you what it looks like here. You got two options. You can mount it on the outside of your house or you can mount it on the inside, you know, behind the TV. You'll find this at most major retailers. Uh, I actually got this at Walmart. Um, and it is a very decent antenna. It takes a little bit of work to put together. But what I ended up doing is actually I'm on an upper story apartment here. And I ended up mounting it up in the window, which is for aesthetics, purely aesthetics. And I ended up mounting it up in the window here. And I ran the cord. And I have to hide it a little better. But I ended up hooking it up to the TV, and I've got a decent list of channels. So what I ended up doing is, because I'm only probably 20 minutes from Rochester, I ended up mounting it south towards Buffalo so I could get other channels. And let me see if I can show you the display. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so here's that. I remember how. So this is my channel list right here. Uh, I get almost every Buffalo station plus their substations. So this is the digital, you know, their digital TV stations. Uh, each major network has their own digital substations. But as you can see, I've got a lot of TV stations here. Plus, obviously, I get Rochester. <clears throat> And, I mean, I get tons and tons and tons of free content. And it is free. 100% free. You know, you got ION, you got QVC for those of you that like to shop at home, whatever. It's totally free. I mean, this is 100% free, all this. Now, if you follow my other videos, you'll see that I actually use a media streaming device. Um to play most of my content, which I actually will do a review. I actually had a Roku box for many, many years, but I'm going to be doing a review on this. bought this last week. It's probably the best thing you will ever buy in your life. Check my channel. Uh, check out my review. I'm going to tell you, this is probably the best box you'll ever buy in your life. <clears throat> there are some downsides to having non-cable TV. There are a lot of commercials geared towards people who are currently not working at home, have annuities, are in financial trouble, as you can see. It's mainly geared towards the people that can't get out in the world and work. But if you can get past that, it's actually really good. It's HDTV. Um, and I can show you some of the substations here. It's actually really decent. And there's no, I mean, this is this is an HD channel right here. I get this for free. TV is only 720p, but whatever. It, it was, it's working for me. But I can show you some of these channels you get for absolutely nothing. Now, granted, there are times where you're not going to find what you want. But if you are in a cost-saving measure and you want to save money 
I guarantee you the amount of money that you spend. What the hell is this? Oh, my God. The amount of money you spend in cable, you could save. You could absolutely save. It is, I would never go back to cable. I, we, I had originally had uh, cable a long time ago, and it just wasn't worth it at all. The amount of money you spend to have, you know, to have subpar entertainment that you can get on Netflix and Hulu, you're already paying for an internet connection. So why should you have to pay for an internet connection and TV? Get rid of the TV, make the jump. You'll get channels like this. I'm watching Ghostbusters right now. I mean, you know what? It's sort of like. You sort of settle a little bit. It doesn't really bother you. But the fact that um, the fact that you're paying nothing just absolutely blows my mind. I mean, I know people that pay hundreds of dollars on cable TV for practically nothing, for junk. And they always complain, oh, there's nothing on TV. Well, then why do you pay for it? Don't pay for something you don't ugh. don't pay for something you don't have or you don't need. All right? This hooked up to this TV. This is all the entertainment I need. You get like 20 something channels if you get a 60 mile radius. And if you live in an area where you have a lot more networks, if you live in a stronger market, I'm in upstate New York, so I mean, if you live in New York City and you want to try and use this, this has got a 60-mile range. And I'll put the specs to this and everything else that you know came with it. Uh, but again, this is one of the best ideas I've ever done. Why spend money on HDTV when you can get it for nothing? This is all your local networks. And if you want to watch anything else, you can use your media streaming box for where it be Hulu, Netflix, uh, you know, I actually am using Sling TV right now, which I can show you, which is actually pretty cool. But again, if you got any questions, just leave it in the comments and uh, I'll try and respond. Thanks for watching.